What happens in supply chains is that there has to be physical movement. Anything that has to do with physical movement or physical storage is logistics, and so that's what we teach. In logistics, there are two pieces we talk about. There's service and there's cost. Now the reality is if you, if you plan that network properly and you have things positioned properly and you have inventory positioned properly, which is a big part of it, then when your customer calls up, you have the stuff you, that the customer needs and you can get it to them when the customer wants it. For many years, Walmart claimed that 1% of their entire revenue was the difference in logistics and that nobody else could match them for exactly that reason. Supply chains and logistics channels are getting longer. Forecasts are not as good when they have to be over a longer period of time. It's a whole lot easier to figure out what you can do next week than what you have to do next month. But if it's going to take a month to, for the stuff to get from Asia to here, you got to tell the people in Asia what's going to be next month. So it makes things much more difficult that way. One of the things I like to talk about is that the ideal logistics system is the one on the enterprise. You know, where you have the replicator. You tell the thing what it needs, what you want, makes it out of thin air. That's the best, that's the ideal. We haven't got there yet.